What's going on guys, Saint here. Thought I'd make a video to talk to you guys about the new game Titanfall that just released and my opinions on it. Um, keep in mind that I just, I'm only like level 13, so I just started playing the game. Wanted to get a video out to, uh, you know, go over a few things about the game uh, for you guys. But, uh, alright, here we go. Okay, so the first thing that I would like to talk about, um, everyone has been hyping up over this game for uh, quite some time now. Uh, it, it extremely became uh, prevalent when the uh, beta dropped for this game. The hype was just phenomenal about this game, and I, I think it lived up to it, um, at least to my perspective of the game. Fast-paced, a lot of action, const constant action everywhere. You can just see, look, I mean, every corner I turn, everywhere I go, there's a, there's a person, and it's great. And they're not all um, players. Uh, they're, they're AI, which are like the grunts, and uh, they're, they're there just to add extra combat and um, to let people get more points and uh, put a little more depth into the game. And there's also one thing I feel the need to point out is the... Uh, AI skill to um, pilot skill to pilot in a Titan skill. Now, the AI are they're retarded. They're not. I mean, if you die by an AI, <laughs> I'm not gonna call you bad, but let's be honest. Anyways, the uh, pilot to pilot Titan skill. It's very very balanced. I mean, if you're caught in the open by a Titan, you're gonna die. It's a, it's a war machine, and you're going to get caught, and you're going to get mowed down, and it's going to be bloody, and you're going to complain, you're going to get pissed, whatever your fault, you were out in the open versus tight. However, if you play like a smart uh, pilot and stay within buildings when there's when you see titans on the map and uh, help your uh, friendly titans take out the enemy titans with your archer missiles and the uh, sidewinder, um, you'll... The game will go a lot smoother. Like, we'll see as I'm helping my friendly Titan take out the enemy Titan. Helps out a lot. They have to deal with the Titan, and they're not going to be focused on you. And those Archer missiles, uh, Archer rockets, do a lot of damage. But, as I was saying before, you'll notice, uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure if I get caught in between a Titan out in the open. Uh, I try not to. I try to... I try to keep my awareness, and that's one thing that is very important about these kind of games. You have to be aware of your surroundings. If there's titans on the map, stay indoors. When you stay indoors, navigate building to building. And uh, this game, and this game type is capture the flag, and basically the role that I'm trying to take on myself is the role of the slayer, which uh, the slayer generally will pick a cutoff point, uh, patrol a position along the map and keep enemy players from crossing their field of view. And also, if our flag gets captured or our, if our flag gets taken, I will try to cut that guy off as well and uh, get our flag back. Now, I don't have any voice. I'm not playing with any friends. I have no voice communication in this game, so there's really not any teamwork going here. I'm kind of just I, I self-assigned this role for me, and it worked pretty well. Uh, for me in, in this game, but as you see I get a little antsy here and uh, I see that I have a Titan and I'm going to make my move to capture the flag. Now it's very important that you have a Titan if you're going to capture a flag. You can run flags in Titans. Watch, as I uh, demonstrate here, I'm trying to find a way outside because I want to call my Titan out and uh, get in it. When you're in the Titan it provides extra armor <clears throat> for you to um, obviously carry the flag and get it safely back to your base. But there's also a con to uh, using the Titan to get your flag back. As you can see, I instantly start taking fire. You are a big red mark on the map. They see the flag above your head. You're a big machine. They're going to start taking shots. You're going to start taking a lot of damage. you got to evade. you got to move quick. you got to get across the map. This guy, I don't know what he was doing. I'm lucky he was pretty damaged. Because uh, he's in a Titan also. He had a teammate here start fragging me with uh, arc grenades, which that, look at this damage I'm taking. Everyone's focusing me down. I'm trying to chase this guy down because I know 
Uh, I don't see any other teammates on him. Maybe I, I yeah, there's a friendly Titan up there that uh, finally went up and tried to, uh, or uh, successfully took him out. But at this point, I want to get this flag back. I don't see any of my teammates in the area, so I, I make it. Now, I, I made it my job to get the flag back. Not a really wise idea, but I didn't have any teammates in the area. Run back to my um, flag and capture it. I got scared there. I thought that was an enemy. It was just a friendly guy. Scared the shit out of me. Asshole. No, I'm joking. But, yeah, it, it's not wise to um, go after the flag if you have the flag. You should uh, stay safe. But, again, I'm, you know, I'm not playing with any teammates or uh, uh, friends of mine, so I don't have any voice communications. So I try to become the one-man wrecking ball in the game. Another thing I want to point out, too, is I found useful uh, the burn card rematch. Now, see how I just did that? I came directly back. Uh, the, the burn card rematch is you spawn where you die, kind of like tactical insertion for Call of Duty. You only get to use it once. Uh, well, you can have three, up to three per match. And uh, you can only use them three, three times in one match. Uh, but it just respawns you where you died last, and uh, they're really good for clutch plays. And speaking of uh, clutch things besides me, stim. The ability stim in this for capture the flag, very, very clutch. It's almost, if you're going to be a flag runner, uh, you have to have it. I know I started out this beginning of this match Slayer. Besides, look at that. The other thing I like about um, Titans is when you get out of them, you can put them in follow mode. They'll follow you wherever you are. And that one was following me across the map. I mean, it happened to be there. I, so I was like, shit, I'm hopping in. I'm not going to take any damage. Again, here, I, I get overly aggressive and it bites me in the ass. Uh, I see my damage core coming online. I think I can take him out. I think I can take him out. And he just starts putting the, He starts laying the damage on me. And the sad tragedy of this is that I don't make it back to capture the flag. Uh, I run out of time before I can with this Titan. He wants me. He's trying to hunt me down. Um, sometimes Titans don't always get you. That's what I'm saying about the balance. It's pretty good. But anyways, guys, that's my time. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.